Hey everybody, another modular quick tip coming at you. Um, today I'm gonna do a real quick run through on what it takes to flash a hex file to uh, a mutable. Um, this is a Mutable Instruments clone. This is a clone of Yarns. It's called Embrain. It's a lot smaller and I have a hex file that I need to update to it. You can do this through the Mutable Instruments um, dev environment. There's a way to actually compile everything on your own. It's a little more involved and covered elsewhere, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to stick with this. This is probably the easiest way to do it when you have a hex file. Um, and you're going to hear about people using the ST, um, ST Link V2. That's what this is. There are generic clones made of this, um, and they're even less expensive, but some people would insist that the, the original seems to more consistently flash. Anyways, so you need to buy one of these, and you also need to buy, this is an Olimax um, ARM to JTAG adapter. To it plugs into the um, the ST link, and then will connect to your your um, module to Flash. When you when you get the the ST link V2, there's going you have to go to their website and download two two items. One is going to be the USB driver to install because it installs using USB. Um, it's not available on Windows or Mac already, so you have to get that. And then you also have to grab this uh, ST-Link utility. This is what you're actually going to flash it with. So once you have the software installed, the driver installed, you want to make sure that you have your adapter plugged into the ST-Link, and then your ST-Link will be plugged into your computer. Uh, you should be good to go there. You're also going to want to make sure that I'm not turned on yet, but you want to have your uh, module ready to be powered because it's going to have to be powered on in order for you to flash the chip. That's really important. Okay, so now that you have everything connected, you want to go ahead and open the ST-Link utility. When you get into the utility, you're going to click File Open. You're going to open your hex file. It's going to have everything you need to, to flash over to it. Click on open. It's mbrain.hex in this case. There's all the addresses. Open successfully. And then all you should need to do if you're connected correctly is click target program. And there you go. You're going to get the secondary item um, where typically you just say start. It's going to go ahead and flash. And then you get this nice little green thing down here that says memory programmed in four seconds, 890 milliseconds. Anyways, green is good, right? You're good to go. You get a green and red flashing light and you should be in good shape. Now, let me show you what happens when it doesn't connect correctly. Okay, so this message right here, take a good look at it. Um, it's going to tell you a number of different things in here to try again and, and try a different frequency application or, you know, if you're using a dev board or anything like that. What this means is that it's not connected correctly. Um, so the most likely issue here is you're going to have to flip over the connection and connect it the other way on your module. So hopefully that video will help some of you out. Just some basic documentation. We are up and running. That's a, a happy thing. And I wanted to say thank you to the, the, the folks who helped me out when I ran into uh, connection issues. Helped me figure out how to do this. Um, this video is for all of you. Thank you.